so if your facebook page was hacked or hijacked this is what you would do you type fb copyright infringement form then you click on the first link there then you follow these processes so what you click on is the last one which is i found content which i believe infringes my copyrights so you can see it at the bottom there that is the one you select other ones won't go through so you select that one you select continue with my copyright reports you select provide your contact information you select me or my organization just follow what you can see here then you type the name of your facebook page okay the name of your facebook page so you type it there and then or you can type your facebook name your facebook username if it's linked to your facebook page then you select owner okay just follow the prompt it's once you just follow everything you should be able to get your account back then this is your email address for your facebook page the one that was hacked or your facebook account basically so it's going to be the same email so this is you put your phone number the one that you have in your account or the one they can contact you with but it is better if it is the phone number you have on the account and the next thing is the email address again so the email address is what you select email address of your facebook account okay you select it make sure it's the right thing you are putting if you don't put the right email they won't be able to contact you so they must be able to contact you from your facebook email so it must be associated with your business email the business email the email you use for your business account is what you type in here so you confirm the email address by typing the same thing okay so then the next step is um name the name of the owner name of the owner or name the rights of the owner so what you type here your full name you can just type your full name on your facebook page as you can see so it's better to type your facebook page name so the country where your facebook is based or your account is based where are you from or where, are you, where do you stay so you select your country and then it said what content do you want to report you select that you select every single thing there and then here is the key place the the main content you paste your facebook page link here your your facebook url so you go to that place you search on facebook for that your facebook page you know the name of your facebook page you search it and then you copy the link to it and post it here and then they'll be able to that's when they want to review is they can have the facebook link to review the account and then help you get it back from the hijacker or the person that stole your facebook page or business account basically so it's just the link you are putting here you're not putting any other thing So you can see what this one looks like. It's going to look some. It's going to look like this somehow like this do, but your Facebook page link. So the next thing, who posted the content? So you type your Facebook page name here as the person who posted the content. This is where you put. So the next one, where was the content posted? You type your Facebook page name again in this place just follow the prompt the, i might not be explaining it because the whole video is moving a bit um so just make sure you follow the prompt and just put in what you can see here so provide the description of where this content is located on facebook so you put your facebook um your facebook page name and then explain you can explain if you want you can put so you can see put your facebook page link here and then explain what happened explain exactly what happened and how it was hijacked just you don't need to type in something too long just put that there and then you can screenshot the page take screenshots of the page even if it has been hijacked by the person screenshot the page make sure it has a page name and some things in the page then you upload it there for the person most especially the page name click on choose files and then upload it and the next one here you select 
this content uses my name you say why are you reporting this content so the next one you confirm declaration statement and then you click on agree yes then electronic signature you type in your name and then you click on submit your name is your facebook name your normal facebook account name because it's your facebook account you begin to report this so your normal facebook username or id and you click on submit so when you do this they will send you an email and then you can interact with them make sure you keep on disturbing them and they will finally get back to you thank you